Hi, it's Patrick Hutzel from intensivecarehotline.com with another quick tip for families in intensive care. So one of our reader is saying, my loved one has been in intensive care for two weeks after a pneumonia and now they're not waking up due to agitation. Uh, whenever the ICU team is trying to take off sedation, they are agitated and they're fighting against the ventilator. They're not helping with coming off the ventilator by not obeying commands, by not following instructions. So this happens all the time in ICU. And again, the biggest challenge for families in intensive care is simply that they don't know what they don't know. They don't know what to look for. They don't know what questions to ask. They don't know their rights and they don't know how to manage doctors and nurses in intensive care. And this is exactly what this situation presents for you. So basically what's happening is here that your loved one has been in a coma for too long. They would have been on substances such as morphine, fentanyl, potentially midazolam, overset, propofol, presidex, ketamine, or a combination of all of that. And that's presenting numerous challenges. Uh, for example, it presents that some of those substances are addictive in nature. And when your loved one is waking up, uh, they are potentially withdrawing from those substances and that therefore they get agitated. It's a bit like if, you know, if someone is being weaned off from uh, drugs or, or alcohol or any other uh, toxic substances, you know, the pe people are going through withdrawal and it's sort of a similar situation often in those situations. And also bear in mind, your loved one has been chemically restrained more or less for the last two weeks. If they're waking up, you know, they have no idea what's happened. They're in a foreign environment. P strange people around them, you know, would be very distressing for them. And w the way forward is often to try and try again, manage the withdrawal, potentially with some medication such as clonidine, but also by talking to your loved one and explaining to them what's happening, what they need to do, that they need to breathe with a ventilator and, you know, explaining things to them with much patience, starting some physical therapy or physiotherapy, starting to move them. Um, and, you know, I assume the pneumonia is healed. You haven't mentioned that, but, you know, also making sure that the pneumonia is healed. And then if the ICU team thinks, you know, maybe there is a neurological event, i.e. the brain isn't working, then the, one of the next steps is also to do a CT scan of the brain maybe do an EEG, making sure there hasn't been a, neuro a neurological event such as a stroke, there haven't been any seizures, and you know, go from there. This is often a bit of a waiting game, and it takes numerous attempts often, you know. Now, if all of that fails, then often the next step is to do a tracheostomy and wean your loved one off from there. But ideally, you know, a tracheostomy is um, uh, is avoided because ideally your loved one can just breathe on CPAP pressure support, you know, and then being taken off the ventilator. That is my quick tip for today. Um, if you have a loved one in intensive care, go to intensivecarehotline.com, call us on one of the numbers on the top of our website, or simply send us an email to support at intensivecarehotline.com. Also, have a look at our membership for families in intensive care at intensivecaresupport.org. If you need a medical record review, please contact us as well. Uh, if you need a medical record review for your loved one or for yourself after intensive care or while your loved one is in intensive care, you should contact us. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel for regular updates for families in intensive care and intensive care at home. Share this video with your friends and families. Give it a thumbs up, give it a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel and comment below what you want to see next or what questions and insights you have from this video. Thanks for watching. This is Patrick Hutzel from IntensiveCareHotline.com and I will talk to you in a few days.